STEM is becoming a really popular and important subject. Um, and it's really important for kids to be introduced to it when they're young, and uh, Lego Robotics is a great introduction for uh, you know, these ages, um, as young as 10. So STEM uh, Robotics, as we uh, titled the program, uh, involves a Lego EV3 kit, and it has a certain number of Lego pieces and uh, a brick that's sort of the brain of the robot. Um, it's very easy to use. You can plug in uh, different sensors and motors, and then you code the, your robot on, uh, we are using iPads, so you can also use a laptop, um, and you drag and drop different blocks for the robot to do specific things. So if you want both motors to move forward, you drag a motor block up into your program and press play and they should move forward. On the first day of robotics camp, uh, the kids come in uh, and we do some very basic activities just to get their hands on uh, Lego pieces. So I assume that everyone has seen Lego uh, pieces before, but I can't assume that they've all seen robotics or programming. So they come in and they'll do a little um, project just to get their hands on the Lego pieces. Build a chair for a bear was the first activity. Uh, then we did some basic coding um, activities. The first one was just live coding, um, get me from this point to outside the door. Um, we started to get more into um, robotics competitions of sumo bots, so they would push each other out of a ring. Um, but the way I organize the schedule, I try to make it so it's not too competitive um, in nature of the projects. Um, I think they have enough competition going on throughout the day and the week. I told them I would rather them be competing for time or competing against technology. Um, so there have been quite a few lessons in technology's not working. Uh, all the projects are goal oriented. Um, they're not opening a kit and following directions step by step. They're more open ended. So uh, if a student does have a lot of EV3 experience, they can complicate their robot enough to do something. Um, but if they don't have a lot of experience, there's also wiggle room for that uh, to make a more simple robot. A camper doesn't need to have any previous exposure or experience with programming or Lego or Lego robotics. Typically the students in this session have had at least some programming experience and definitely experience with Lego pieces, um, but internationally it's pretty common for children to have seen Lego before. I hope by the end of two weeks uh, our camper and the Lego um, robotics STEM program uh, will learn a little bit on how to code, um, sort of the, me the mentality of making a robot move in a literal way. Uh, it's almost like an international language, which is nice. And also building uh, and keeping their creativity intact. So I, I really try not to limit them. I really want them to become more creative in problem solving as well. Um, whereas if you have a Lego robotics kit and you're following directions, it's, it's not, um, maybe you'll make a robot that's really cool, but it's not yours. Um, so I'm hoping that they have some sort of ownership of I did this, um, I coded this, I built this um, with a partner, but um, something that they feel like they uh, solved a problem using uh, their minds.